The Black Gangster Disciples are an African-American street gang formed on the south side of Chicago in the late 1970s by Larry Hoover, leader of the Supreme Gangsters, and David Boxdale, leader of the Black Disciples. The two groups came together and united and formed what we now know them today, the Black Gangsters Disciples. They have risen to be one of the largest and most vicious gangs in America, operating mainly in the Midwest and some parts of the southeastern United States. The Gangster Disciples are active in 110 cities and more than 31 states, and they have an estimated 25 to 50,000 members. And a hierarchy like an army. The gangly mostly deal drugs like cocaine, heroin, and weed, and use kids to distribute them because they know if law enforcement make an arrest on a 12-year-old kid, the arrest is not going to go far. To get into the gang, the initiation can range from a variety of things. You might have to kill someone, rape, or even torture someone. The gang is so determined and so disciplined, they have no problem teaching their own people a lesson. The gang has been reported to even cut out fellow gang members' tongues just for talking to the police. The viciousness of the gang has not only shocked other gangs that has come into contact with the Black Gangster Disciples, but even law enforcement. They recruit kids younger than the age of 8 years old to fight in their deadly wars. One particular crime committed by the Black Gangster Disciples caught national headlines when Robert Yummy Sanford who had joined the gang previously in 1994 when he was only 11 years old, he was handed a 9mm pistol by the gang's chief and had to go out and kill a rival gang member. While he was out, he aimed the gun at some rivals and began to shoot. While he was shooting, he accidentally shot and killed an innocent 14-year-old female named Siobhan Dean. Her murder brought much unwanted attention to the gang. Then the gang leader tried to cover up the gang's involvement by sending two brothers, Derek Hardaway and Craig Hardaway, to kill Little Yummy. The two brothers lured him into an alley where they shot him twice in the back of the head. The two brothers were later convicted of murder, and that brought even more attention to the gang, even though they tried to cover it up. It even caught the attention of some celebrities. One particular incident, an eight-year-old boy shot and killed a seven-year-old boy from another rival gang. That incident caught the attention of the legendary Tupac Shakur, and when he was doing a show in Chicago, he heard about the incident and was on stage where some black gangster disciples were in the crowd, and he started to cuss them out. His friend quickly rushed him off stage. He had to leave the show immediately because of how violent the black gangster disciples could be. The black gangster disciples have been linked to thousands of murders, kidnappings, rape, and has put fear into those who even think about crossing them. But after Boxdale's death in 1974, a struggle for power between Hoover and Jerome Freeman caused the Black Gangster Disciples to break up in the early 1980s and back to their original names. Before the Black Gangster Disciples broke up, they probably was one of the most powerful gangs ever assembled. Larry Hoover and David Boxdale commanded over thousands of men and ran entire cities. Very few gangs have reached the level of the Black Gangster Disciples, and the legacy of these two men still lives on in the streets of Chicago. Hope you liked this video. For more content, please like and subscribe.